Hallelujah. We bless God and thank you for tuning in for another amazing teaching. And this teaching, I believe, is going to change. It's going to change you. It's going to change me. And this teaching should be heard all over the world because it's very, very important. And I'm going to look down a little bit because I have my Bible right here. And I'm going to be reading from, from Matthew chapter 5, verse 27. If you have your Bible, you can take it out so you can verify the Word of God is true. And let's read together. Matthew chapter 5, verse 27 going all the way probably we can go up to 30 and this is how it reads you have heard that it was it was said by them of old time you shall not commit adultery but i say unto you that whosoever looks on a woman to last after her has committed adultery with her already in his heart and if your right eye causes causes you to offend pluck it out and cast it from you for it is better for you that one of your members should perish and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. And if your right hand causes you to offend, cut it off and cast it from you. For it is better for you that one of your members should perish and not that your whole body should be cast into hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I do thank God for his word. And we, we are just going to say a short prayer. So that we can get the right word from Jesus Christ. Master Jesus, I bless you. Holy Spirit, I invite you. I pray that the word of God that you wrote by your inspiration, you may help us to expound it based on your inspiration. Just as you wrote it, help us to expound it in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God and we bless God for this teaching tonight. And I just want to start by saying there is a lie that is going out there in the world today even today and i'm going to expose that lie in the name of jesus christ there there is a commandment that jesus christ referred to that is a commandment that you shall not commit adultery the letter of the commandment said you shall not go and sleep with someone who is not your married partner so it's about physically coming together and sleeping and uh, and actually having sexual intercourse. But the Lord Jesus Christ, that was the letter of the law. There is a difference between the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. So in the Old Testament, the pe people believe that adultery happened only when people physically brought the two, the male and female that were not married, and they came together in a sexual intercourse. But the Lord Jesus Christ comes and changes and says, uh, guys, this is a letter. You, you're reading and trying to fulfill the letter of the law. But let me expound what I meant when I, I gave the law to Moses. This is what I meant. I meant that adultery lies in the heart of man. Shocking? Is it shocking to you? Or is this the first time you heard it? Or do you know it? Let's go together. Jesus said, before you commit the physical adultery of sleeping with somebody who is not your married partner and this is for both males and females you have already you would have already done it in your heart sin lies in the heart so jesus came and said let me tell you guys it's, it's not just about you guys trying to avoid sleeping with somebody let me give you what that commandment entails this is what it entails it entails more than just the letter of it he said, do you know what? If you looked at a woman, if you're a man, and you can, you can, you can argue the other side if you're a woman. If you, if, if you looked at a woman lastfully, you have already committed adultery before you, met, you, before you physically sleep with that person. And what does he go on to say there in Matthew chapter 5? He says, if you covet, if you look with the intention of lasting, after her it's already it's already done you're an adulterer you are a full-fledged adulterer need, need need not you need not go and finish the physical part of it you've already committed it and it's very dangerous because jesus said adulterers shall be cast into hellfire both their body and their soul you heard me yeah when i read the word yeah yeah so what did he say here he said if your right eye is causing you to sin. Remove it. You better enter heaven without an eye. If your right hand, specifically right hand, causes you to sin, remove it. It's better to go to heaven without that, without that leg. 
arm than to be cast into hell with both the eyes and the right hand. Very serious. And I want to, 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 to caution us, you and me and the whole world, when God talks, wise men and women listen. This is God Almighty. God is saying adulterers will be cast into hell. So there is danger of hellfire here. It is not me who is saying it. I'm not trying to scare you. It's a reality. Every sinner will be cast into hell. But here specifically, I came to teach us a lesson today about sexual purity. And it's very important that people listen. Don't jump this video. I, I urge you to go with me till the end because it's a lie that is making rounds even now all over the world. And I believe God has a reason to make me come and give priority to this sermon that I may preach it all over the world. Yes, Jesus said, if your eye is causing you to lust, you need to remove it. What does that mean? It means it's better to be blind. You know what I mean? I mean, you need to be blind physically. It's better to be blind, but enter heaven on this earth. It's better to, to not have the hand, the right arm, but enter heaven. What does that mean? Guys, I came specifically to speak about pornography. Pornography. The whole of the internet is littered with pornographic images and videos from all cultures, from, from, from all walks of life, websites specifically designed for, for, for pornography, websites specifically designed to, 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 to portray men and women as objects, and they're actually made for us to go and look. So let me clearly state this. Whoever watches pornography has already committed adultery in the heart. And remember, adulterers have their reward in, the, in hell, in the lake of fire. So what do we need to do? What did Jesus say? Let's take a look at what happens when people watch pornography. They open the website, they last after the, the, the whatever images come, men or women. They keep scrolling until they find the best fate, that they, the, the best fetish you know, that they're looking for. Then how does that end? It ends up with using the right hand and working your genitals to bring about ejaculation. And that's a culmination of the whole act. So where does the sin start? Or where does it end? The sin, Jesus said, he said it started in the heart. The sin is not what you do physically. What you do is a result of, uh, 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 it's an end result of the sin. You know what I mean? Like the masturbation that people do after watching per pornography is just an end result of the sin itself. Adultery has already been committed from the heart through the eye. So what do I want to say? What I'm saying here, the power, the sin of lust lies in the heart. And the power to sin, the power of lust is in the eye. Okay? And that's where you use the eye, that is the power, to fulfill what's already in your heart. That's lust. And what do you end up doing? Either physically you sleep with somebody and have sexual intercourse, or you masturbate to fulfill that desire. So masturbation, per se, is just an end result. It's an action. The sin itself is adultery, adultery of the heart. So what am I saying here? Jesus said it's better to be to remove eyes so you can you can you can become become blind and go to heaven. What is Jesus saying? It's better to remove the right hand that makes you commit adultery. And specifically, the Lord used the right hand because most people are right handed and they masturbate with the right hand. It's all about sexual impurity that lies in the heart. And you know what most people think these days? They go to the letter of the law. It says, thou shalt not commit adultery. You know what they think? I'm not physically sleeping with anybody. I'm not sleeping with a, with a woman or a man. So it's better for me to masturbate just through relief. You know, I have some relief. 
I'm going to relieve that uh, pressure of, of, of now these days they call that dry spell or something. What did Jesus say? Don't go by the letter of the law like your fathers. God made the law with the spirit in it. We just don't read it and check check boxes and say, I've done that, done that, done that. It's the whole spirit. What does that law entail? So if that's what is being perpetuated in the world, that, you know, masturbation is good. You know, scientists come and say, oh, masturbation is healthy. You need to release. You need to do it. And as long as you're not, uh, you know, committing adultery with somebody, you know, you, you need to work yourself up by, you know, watching a bit of pornography. That's adultery, guys. It's no less a sin than committing physical adultery with somebody. So I, I, I came here with a warning because this sin is rampant. It's so, so rampant, you cannot believe it. Because right now, because of the lockdowns, we've been forced to go online. And that's where most people find, find you know, solace. Go online and entertain yourself. And at the end of the day, you want to, you know, work yourself out sexually and relief. Have, have that relief and then sleep. And what do we do? We end up watching pornography. The power, powers attract. We say the sin is in the heart. Lust. The power to, to, to bring that to fruition, to bring that to fruition is through the eye. The power of that lust, it'll enter through the eye. Then what are you going to attract? You're going to attract what you like. So you'll get another power that is fetishes and the fetishes are on the internet. It could be, you know, women's body, women's size, men's size. I don't know. You know, all the fetishes you people fantasize about. So that I power of lust will attract what it needs and already the heart, you'll, you will fulfill the desires of the heart. That's adultery. Whether you end up sleeping with somebody, whether you end up masturbating or not, you've already committed adultery. And that sin is so serious because God, the Lord Jesus Christ said, adulterers shall be thrown into hell, both body and soul. We just read me and you. I'm not you know, exaggerating. What did he say for we should do? He said, cut out, cut out. You know, take it out. Take your eyes out if they're making you lust. Take that hand out. It's making you masturbate. What would that mean? That means it's better to be blind without eyes. And it's better to have no arm. Meaning, it's better not to desire the last of the eye, be blind to all that is on the internet, be blind to all that, that temptation, that forbidden, we call that forbidden pleasure. It's better to be blind to that forbidden pleasure. That's it's all over Instagram, all over Twitter, all over the internet, all over YouTube, all over the, if, if you type any search, it, the results are just right there for you to see. The temptation is right there for you because you have last in the eye to attract. You, all you need to do is choose from the menu, from, from every ethnicity, language, culture. You know what I mean? Black, white, Latino, uh, Arabs. It's all there. There is a menu for you to last, to use the power in the eye from the hurt to last. And Jesus says, adultery has already happened. The moment you use your eye as the door to your heart, to your soul, to bring that temptation. And the enemy, Satan, has gone about and lied to us that that's not adultery. And I, I'm here to expose that lie. Adultery already started in the heart and enters through the eye. And Jesus is saying, close that entrance. Close it, close it. Be blind. What does that mean? Avoid the pleasure and the lust of the eye. That's very, where you stop the sin. So take out your eyes. Be blind. Be blind to pornography. Be blind to images. Be blind. Resist. 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 Resist like never before, I'm telling you. Be blind. Don't care what the world is saying, what they're teaching us to like they have been teaching us this is the best the the bigger the better the, the, this should be smaller the waist should be this smaller they're teaching us how to last and how to last and that's how we have been conditioned the lord is saying be blind to all that stupidity of satan 
It's all over the internet. It's all over Facebook. Even the photos, the photos that people are putting out there for their profiles is just a, an invitation to lust. It's just an attraction to lust. And we humans are, th are the same instrument Satan is using to tempt others. We've been lusting over each other and tempting others to commit hurt adultery, which is as good as sleeping physically, having sexual intercourse with somebody physically. So take out your eyes. It doesn't mean you physically do it, but it means avoid the temptation of lust of seeing. It's all there is. I, I believe 80% of the internet is all temptation to see and lust because Satan knows he can get a lot of members in hell if he just make people, even good people, even pastors, even men of God, even women of God, even, even the righteous have fallen short in this manner. Everyone has fallen short of the glory of God in this manner. And this is the easiest way to take good people and make them be cast into hell. Read Matthew chapter 5, verse 27 to 30. You will understand what I mean. Cut your hand, that temptation to lust with the eye and masturbate with your right hand, you know, working your genitals. I'm sorry about that. We have talked about cutting your eye and cutting your hand. It's avoiding the sin from the window. The window is the eye. The window of the soul is the eyes. The eyes bring in now the, the, the sin to fruition. We said we talked about the, the heart desires, but it has to bring that sin into fruition. How? By, by cons consuming that lust through the eye. And then in the end, it's masturbation or you go to look for prostitutes or you, you physically sleep with somebody. God records your sin from the heart, not when you finish it with something. Murder starts from here. You premeditate. Before you shoot somebody, God has already, the angels have recorded you murder somebody. Even hating somebody, you know, it starts from there. You hate somebody, you've murdered them. So don't be sur surprised on the judgment day to be told you're you're liable for murder and say I didn't do, I didn't shoot them you already hated them to the point you never wanted them to exist on earth heart pornography pornography masturbation are sexual impurities that start from the heart Jesus says you must be scrupulous by keeping your eyes from lasting to the fetishes of this world that have filled the internet. And don't be lied by Satan that masturbation is not a sin, that pornography is just a photo. You know, you're not physically going and sleeping with a man. It's a lie. Jesus has already said, what's that sin about? The book of Isaiah, let me, let me find the, the exact book. Here, just give me a second. Yeah, the book of Isaiah 55, chapter no, uh, ver, uh, chapter 55, verse 2, it says, Why do we labor for that which satisfies not? We labor for that that doesn't satisfy. And have you ever noticed those who have a problem with masturbation? The moment you do it, it looks like you, you feel now you're satisfied. But 20 minutes later, you want to come back. And do the same act and watch and watch and, and binge and watch and binge and finish with that second round of masturbation. When we have people who are so addicted, they would go three, four times in a day until their genitals are, 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 are because of the friction, are painful. It's a torture. It's a torment from Satan. And you never get satisfied. Why? The book of Isaiah says, you labor for that which doesn't satisfy. So if you're looking to get satisfied through uh, watching pornography, that will never happen. You will keep binge watching, binge watching, binge watching, masturbating, but there is no, the satisfaction you get for two seconds when you release and ejaculate goes away in 10 minutes and you want to do it again because it's not God's will. You can see that when something is not God's will, it, it doesn't satisfy. It has no, it's called forbidden pleasures. So Jesus has told us, flee, cut off from your eyes and right hand that masturbates. Cut off those forbidden pleasures. Importantly, because they will lead you to hell. Now, I'm giving you the less, 
the lesser effect, the, the, the worst effect is losing your soul in, in eternity. But number two, it doesn't satisfy. Prophet Isaiah said, go to God. He gives you satisfaction that lasts forever. He gives you bread. It's eating the bread of sorrows. Stop eating the bread of sorrows. Stop feeding on forbidden pleasures because they do not satisfy. In the end, they bring about depression. They bring about a tiredness. You go to work drained out, having masturbated the whole night, gets no sleep. You wake up, then you wonder where your depression is coming from, where your anxiety is coming from. It's coming from the torment of what lies in your hurt. L-U-S-T, lust. Lust lies in your hurt. And it comes out through your eyes. Your eyes brings us into fruition. Once it's, it's, it's brought into fruition, that's the end. It's recorded as a sin. You may end up end up masturbating or not or or once you find you're not satisfied you go to prostitutes or you have girlfriends it will never lead to satisfaction cut off your eyes guys cut off your right hand what does that mean do anything necessary to avoid forbidden pleasure because it's a dangerous way of living it's a dangerous way. It's a sure way to misery. It's a sure way to destruction. It's a sure way to sadness, depression, unsatisfaction, call it as, as you may. And in the end of it, there is a risk of losing your soul in eternity. So I came here with a warning. Don't be lied by Satan. To say, oh, as long as you don't sleep with somebody as of old, you just read and don't commit adultery. As long as I don't sleep with someone on, on bed. But kind of like, oh, I'm single here and I'm, it's a dry spell. And uh, you know, I need just to go, you know, when no one is watching. And notice, you're not able to do that in public. You can't do that when your wife is watching. You can't do that when your husband is watching. You can't do that in front of everybody. Because it's a sin. You find the darkest moment at night. When no one is watching and you go to do evil, it tells you it's evil. Guys, be warned. Jesus sent me with this message. And remember the words of Paul, led by the Holy Spirit, a pastor Paul. He says, flee from sexual immorality. It's fleeing, man. <laughs> fleeing. You know fleeing? See, I demonstrate. Run away, man. Run away. That's what Jesus is talking about. Pluck your eyes off. Take out your right masturbating oh, hand so that you can have sexual purity. That's God's standard on sexual purity. That's God's standard, standard on sexual purity. It's high. It's not just on the letter of the law, but on the spirit of the law. Jesus' standard on sexual purity. I would like to end here saying uh, I wanted to expose Satan and his kingdom and the doctors and scientists that are lying to people that masturbation is healthy, that men meet, meet, meet needs to masturbate so that they can avoid prostate cancer. That's a lie. That's man's standard. Jesus' standard on sexual purity is that high. It's in the heart. So if we are to be blind by plucking our eyes, we need to avoid every for every appearance of evil, especially online. Avoid friendship, avoid, get away from those websites, delete every video, every uh, image that you have on your phones that you know has an appearance of lust in it because it will attract your eye. There is a power here. Now, how do you fix the heart? My brothers and sisters, I have no other solution. I've told you how to avoid the sin by plucking the eyes, and the right hand, avoiding. But remember, the sin of lust is still lying in the heart. And the heart, no man can fix. But I'll teach you how to fix that sin of lust in your eye, of the lust in your heart. Repent of every sexual impurity you have ever been involved. We all have fallen short of the glory. I was a champion on that area. I was a champion, but I came to Jesus and repented. 
and I ask the Lord Jesus Christ to enter in my heart and remove the lust that's lying there, the burning lust, the burning lust in the heart. Only Jesus Christ can remove it. So it, it stops uh, manifesting in the eyes. And my eyes are lasting after women and after pornography and your eyes. And in the end, because you can't, you don't want to sleep with them thinking that's where adultery happens. You masturbate. But the sin lies in the heart. You've already committed it many times over in the heart. Only Jesus can take that lust through his Holy Spirit. He comes, he takes out that lust. It's a thing. Lust is a spiritual entity. The lust itself, it's something that needs to come out. It's a spiritual entity. Trust me. When Jesus takes out that entity, he puts another entity. What's that entity he puts on you? The Holy Spirit. It's a part of Jesus. It's the Spirit of the Father. The Spirit of Jesus. So and I'm going to ask you, if you have never given your life to Jesus, stop risking living in forbidden pleasure. It's um, it's not worth it, my dear. It's not it's not worth it at all. It's not worth losing your body and soul in hell in eternity. It's not worth it. And Jesus can satisfy that in His own way, in His own timing. You'll get satisfaction at God's timing, not your timing. You know, the world is uh, is luring us into all this and and sending us straight to the wide road of hell. Come out! Come out! Come out! Flee sexual immorality and have the standard of the purity of Jesus Christ as per Matthew 5, 27. So I'm going to pray with those who have listened to this broadcast that have never given their life to Jesus Christ. Give your life to Jesus Christ and pray with me this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am a sinner. I come to you, Father. Forgive me my sins. Deliver my soul from, from darkness to your marvelous light. Thank you, Jesus. Forgive me of all sexual immoralities, sexual impurities in my life. Forgive me of the sin of pornography. Forgive me of the adulteries I've committed and all other sins. Cleanse me of all sins I have committed. Thank you, Jesus. Now fill me with your Holy Spirit. I accept you as a Lord and Savior every day. I will follow you. I will listen to you. I will obey you. I am a child of God. And from now, I am born again. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you have prayed that prayer, you have become born again. Find a local church, a pastor of a living church, and tell him that you've given your life to Christ. And I just want to pray with you concerning the spirit that lasts in the heart. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father God, for all those now that are, that are stretching their hands, I'm praying with them right now. That spiritual entity of lust lying in the heart, be cast out of them in the name of Jesus Christ. Come out, you spirits of lust. Come out in the blood of Jesus Christ. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. From today, live with Jesus. The Holy Spirit is there to help you and you you will see when the Holy Spirit is there, the sexual purity of God, it's so easy to maintain. It, sees, it ceases to become a temptation, becomes rubbish once you have the Holy Spirit and that means God has changed you. I bless you. Thank you for listening. Share this message because many, 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 many souls in the world need to hear about this message. Thank you and God bless you.